Okay, good day guys. So we're going to create a web hosting account. So I already created my new Gmail account that we're going to use in signing up a free web hosting account. Okay, so this is the email that we're going to use and we will uh, go to 00webhost.com. So this is the website that we're going to use for our uh, web hosting. Okay, uh, zero zero web host is offering a free web hosting. So these are the features of a free web hosting in zero zero web host. So we are allowed to create a one website. So we are. Uh, we have 300 MB disk space. We only have limited bandwidth for three gig. And the other features are, we are only limited for one M, uh, MySQL database, one FTP. And I think that is good enough for our activity. So let's sign up. So we will click the button free sign sign up under the free web hosting account. Okay, so I'm going to click the button. Okay, so the page is now loading. So we have to fill out the email address, password, and I'm going to repeat. Uh, the password. So instead of signing up, uh, we're going to use my Google uh, Gmail account. So I'm going to click this button. Okay. So here I'm here. Uh, the browser is asking me. So what is my Gmail account and we wanted to sign up, sign my Gmail account. Okay, so now that my email is verified, so after the verification, let's wait for the Zero Zero Web Host confirmation. So there is it. Hey there, Sam. Welcome to Zero Zero Web Host Sandbox. Let's get you started. It will only take. So um, let's create some magic, or it's my first to do to take the funnel. So all you have to do is just click. Okay, so there are questions. What would you like to do? So learn web development, build an online store, create a website, start a blog. So let's create this one. Let's choose this one. So what kind of product are you selling? Okay, let's see others. Name your project. So the Cedar Cedar web host is asking for the name of our website. So I'll go for the same name that my email has. So that is the name. And for this one, so I'll just change it. Going to fill out the password. Add. So I'm going to submit it. The name was already taken. So let's 
try having a period you can only use numbers okay dash or so let's try this one okay, submit Okay, so the name and the password is accepted. Now, the zero zero web host is asking me. So, if I'm going to use the website builder or I'm going to install WordPress. So for now, we will just load our site. So we're going to upload our website. So we will manually create our website. So I'm going to select this one. Now that our website is web host is a web, web hosting is okay. So this is the uh, file manager wherein we see the public underscore HTML. So in this folder, this is the location where we put our uh, HTML document. Okay, this part. Okay. In this part, we put our HTML document. Now, I will teach you how to upload uh, upload uh, the upload a document here. Okay. Now, um, before we upload, I have here a document named index.html. So it is uh, saved under the folder web dev in the desktop so here now I'm going to double click it for you to see the output now it has my home page in the tab bar then we have website home page blog about contact and info okay so let's go back to the code again and this is saved locally in the in the type C under the desktop uh, directory. So let's see again the file. Then, okay, this is the file. So I will go to upload this file in our web hosting account. So I'm going to use the file manager to upload this file. So we have here a new file, new folder search and upload file so we're going to use this uh, icon in order for the file to be uploaded in our uh, 00 web host account so just click select files and look for the files so this is desktop under desktop you have web dev then double click index then click upload. So the file now is uploaded. Okay. So now we have index.html in our web hosting account. So you just right click here. Okay, right click and just click view. Okay. Now your website is now available 24 seven, okay? It is not, uh, no, not no longer located at your local drive. It is uploaded in Zero Zero Web Host, okay? So this is the URL that you're going to give your friends to, sh to, to have them look at your website. So you could omit the index. Okay, you could emit the index dash index. Okay, 
So uh, just say Sam E then that zero zero evos dot com and that's it. So copy. So if you go to the uh this one, this page, so this is the local version and the other one is your online version. So you have your online version. Okay. And that's it. I'm going to close them. Then in file manager, aside for uploading the files, let's say for example you want to change your code, you could change it right here. Okay, you could right click and edit the file. Okay. So you could change your file. So let's say for example, set up saying website. Why don't you give your just give your uh, URL for them to know your uh, the name of your website? And let's see what will happen. So I'm going to save the file. Save. So save it again. I sorry. Save and close. Now that is updated. So I'm going to hit the re the reload. Now instead of well, uh, instead of website, we have here our name or the URL for our website. Sam dot webhostapps.com. Okay. Now your website is available twenty four seven. So let's get back to the file manager. Okay. Now let's. Uh, let's log out and try to get in again. Okay. So log in. So let's close this. Let's say that we will begin the by typing 00webhost.com and we're going to sign in. Okay, we're doing the sign in. Okay, clear. So the site is already know that uh, that this is my account. Okay, so I'm going to uh, log out again. So. Uh, I'm going to close it again. Then let's try to sign up, sign in again to the service rebels. So now that we are, uh, we already log out to the rebels and we will try to get back by clicking sign in. Okay. Now, I will use my Gmail account. So log in with my Google Gmail account. So make sure that your Gmail account is logged when you click that button. Okay, now that my account is verified. So you will see here, okay, some e um, S E G R. So you just click manage website and you'll be back to the file manager. Okay. So just select file manager. And you're now here. So all the documents that we'll be using for your the displaying of your website would should be located here in public HTML. Okay. So you, all your documents should be uh, located here in order for your webs uh, in order for your page to be viewed. Okay. Now we have index.html. Okay, that's it.
So you don't need uh, if you want to view your document without signing in to your uh, web host account. That is that is okay. So let's close it. Just remember that always remember the URL in order for you to access your website. Okay. So we are already logged out and we are trying to access the file. So you don't need to be logged in in order for you to access the account. If you just want, you just want to view the website, you just uh, give them the URL and that's it. And now if you want to add files, of course you have to sign in to your 00 web host account. So that's it for today. See you guys.